Hello everyone, my name is Ike and welcome back to another technical video, redstone video here and today we're actually going to be talking about the ultimate guide to fireworks. Okay guys, like I said, the first thing we're going to get into is the actual crafting of fireworks and there's a lot of stuff on this uh, glass flag here that we can talk about. So let's, let's jump right into the basics. So basic thing here is fireworks stars and you need a fireworks star uh, such as this we we'll look at it right here uh, it's a small ball and it's crafted with magenta color now fireworks now you can actually get a fireworks star in the miscellaneous as of 1.14 but that actually did not used to exist and you can actually get a regular firework for rockets from here as well but up until 1.14 these did not exist now this fireworks star here you can't really do anything with except for add it to some paper and some gunpowder and create a firework um, so but we're going to talk about how to create these there are no fireworks recipes in the crafting table um, nothing comes up so what we need to do to actually craft these fireworks stars here is to combine a piece of gunpowder with any die. Let's grab some die. Let's say we want to do a brown firework. We can do it with here with a piece of gunpowder. And that'll create a small ball brown firework. And then we can combine. What we do then is we combine our firework star with a piece of paper and gunpowder and we get an actual firework so we're gonna do that now and looks like this and when you use these they actually damage you when you use an elytra so these are different than your normal elytra fireworks which is just one paper and one gunpowder and we can look at those next to one another here's a flight rocket and here's a regular one so the flight rocket has no explosion associated with it okay so what do we have here just like your flight rockets you can add more and more duration to your fireworks so let's do a flight duration three here let's do our small ball with the magenta and then we'll take and place three gunpowder in and get those two together let's let's do these uh, next to each other this is a duration three and then the one we'll do next to it is a one yeah so you get you also have a duration two there by doing two gunpowder in the middle just like your fireworks rocket and then what we also have is we have these modifiers here we got a, a burst which is a feather a trail which is a diamond a twinkle which is a glowstone a star which is a golden nugget and a creeper face which is any mob head you can obtain so that's a wither skull or any of the ones you can contain in vanilla and if you have a data pack any of those head drops from data packs will actually work as well so let's have a look at what those look like here's one of each and I'll show you guys how to craft those as well so this should be the burst trail because so that's my very favorite firework of all right um and then this is twinkle that one's pretty cool then this one should be the star shape and then a creeper face yeah i got it face this this time so how do we craft those basically it's the same as a firework star Except that when you actually craft the firework star, you place in the item that you're going to craft. So we're going to grab our die and our modifier and our gunpowder. And if we just do this, of course, we get our star. But before we do, we want to add our modifier in. And see, as you can see, it says burst on the top and then magenta. And then, of course, we add our paper and our gunpowder. Do the firework star and then we get our burst magenta burst 
And that crafting recipe is the same no matter which one you use. Um, so yeah, pretty cool there. Now, also what you can do, and on top of having a modifier on there or just having a regular color, we can add another secondary color to our fireworks star. And that can be any color you want it to be. It can be the same color, it's just not gonna look very good, right? Uh, so if we take our magenta ball and then we place a light blue on top of it, what we'll get is we'll get a small magenta ball uh, fade to light blue, and then we can add our paper to it and our extra gunpowder. And then our fade will look just like that. So putting all these things together, we could actually craft could actually craft a magenta one with a trail and we could also add a twinkle in if we like so we can do more than one modifier and let's go ahead and craft up that fireworks star any 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 placement in the recipe here should work and then we'll grab a light blue fade just like so now we got a fade to it all that stuff will work on it and then we'll grab stuff to actually make the rocket. And let's see what what that looks like all together. Super fancy there. I love that. And uh, so that's all to talk about about the crafting. The only thing we can uh, we can talk about here is that the introduction of the crossbow means that we can actually. By placing the fireworks in our offhand, we can actually shoot the fireworks from the crossbow, just like so. And if we get a multi-shot crossbow, it'll actually shoot three for the price of one. Which I think is pretty fancy. Or we can do it straight. So yeah, that's how that works, and uh, hopefully you guys learned something. Uh, this is the basics of crafting and all that, and uh, there are so, so many fireworks because we got 16 different colors of dye that we can work with, and that gives us so many options and almost an overwhelming amount of fireworks to arrange a display with. So thank goodness uh, Minecraft doesn't limit us. So let's jump into the next section of the video. All right, guys, well, let's look into this uh, machine here and how this can make crafting easier. Now, the first thing that I run into with crafting that's an, that's aggravating is trying to find all the materials. And so having a machine like this, that gets all the materials lined up and ready for you, uh, where on a whim, you don't forget that the head makes a creeper face or a diamond makes a trail. You just kind of have it all labeled here. And you've got selectors already storing your items up for you. We do the same thing with brewing stands. Why not do the same thing with, with a fireworks crafting machine? So basically we've got two sets, two machines here split in half. We've got a machine here that uh, we can select our dye colors with using this lectern. And this, this machine will actually do 14 dyes. It could do a 15th one but uh, our eighth die here is an empty one uh, because of the way the machine set up, the water actually runs down the middle here. And so leaving that one empty means that uh, all our items get here. <laughs> so, but we don't have black and we don't have brown in the system. So most people are not gonna wanna craft black around, but you can do what you wanna do. Um, and then we also here have our selectors and uh, we can turn all of these off even. So up is off and uh, down, as you can see the particles down is on, uh, which means we can just select a die, um, which is good because if we, like we showed over here, if you actually wanna make the fade, you can get a die. So your first priority with this machine is to select your color. Let's say we want, uh, let's say we want a purple and we're gonna want our gunpowder to make the fireworks star. And then let's say my favorite is the trail. Uh, now you don't have to select anything here. 
uh, you could leave the trail off and just select your gunpowder and make a normal small ball firework. But we're going to go ahead and show you guys how this works as well. We're going to select this. We've got our colors selected. We've got our gunpowder and our mod selected. We're going to go ahead and flip this switch. And what's going to happen here is our counting circuit is going to count up and activate our selected color here, which was this one and our purple and it's going to shoot that out and then our gunpowder is going to come out of this one and our diamond will come out of this one and they shoot into the water stream and by the time that's done clicking they should be here as you can see we got a stack of each one and we can craft that there and then place the firework star in the shulker box and let's say we decide now, now that we've got our fireworks star, that we want to add a fade color. Let's fade the purple to white. I think that'll look pretty good. And now uh, we've got everything turned off, so we just want our white. We can run that again by flipping the switch up again. It'll send us some new dye. And when it, you hear it done clicking, you should have most of, or if not all of your die here so we got 64 we're gonna grab our ball out of here craft these two babies up and now we got a small ball purple fade to white with a trail and then we can come over here and uh, we can't turn paper off we're always gonna get paper but we can decide if we want duration one two or three and by deciding we want more than one duration so if we want duration two we're gonna flip both switches on and if we want duration three, we're gonna flip all three on. But for now, we just want duration one. And so we're gonna do this. And we should get one stack of paper and one stack of gunpowder. And the beautiful thing about this machine is, is because it's split up here, if we decided that uh, we wanted to make some flight rockets and grab a ball out before we forget if we want to make some flight rockets here in a second we can also do that and here are our fireworks beautiful yeah so say you want to use this machine for fireworks uh, flight flight duration fireworks as well let's say we want duration three let's click that again and we should get three stacks of gunpowder and one stack of paper. Stack of paper. And that'll give us our flight duration three rockets. And so this machine is very versatile as long as you pay attention to what you're doing and you can customize any fireworks you want. And so let's look at how this works. So basically we're using the lectern here to select our colors because we have a vast amount of colors. We have 14 colors, right? And so we're basically bringing the signal from the lectern all the way to the back into a red coder. And if you don't know what a red coder looks like, it's basically these two redstone lines over top of these two sets of repeaters going into these two torches here that way whichever one you decide you selected uh, that only that torch will be on activating only this piston right here which is our white that we selected a minute ago and so how we select here is by toggling this piston on and off and we send our signal from our counter now this is a counter by uh, Cass Azuma Gaming, you can go check out his video and I'll put a link in the description to this counter. And uh, but we can select, we can actually customize this, and customize this to actually output nine stack, up to nine stacks of items at a time. And we could craft nine, fire, nine stacks of fireworks stars at once if we wanted. Um, but basically by putting 61 items in here, we get a full stack of each items. And so we pull a signal from this side which activates all these droppers here, which are our colors, as you can see. 
and then it also sends a signal to the front side here which runs these six one two three four five six yeah and these are your gunpowder your and your modifiers which you can select on and off here and the same thing is true on this side only thing is is that uh, our counter here also having 61 items in it only outputs a signal on this side uh, and this is your paper uh, we can't deselect it it's always going to give us paper and this is your three different uh, duration level so one two and three so that's why you got to select all three of them if you want duration three because basically we're getting one stack per dropper and it's uh, it's it looks complicated but it's actually really simple and another thing I'll point out is just like we have this extra gunpowder chest you can actually add uh, an extra chest to each one of these just by uh, doing this here and that would give you extra storage for every dropper you have in here so no worry to worry about how much storage you have and of course we'll drop in here and have a look the droppers are facing down so that the items come into the water stream and actually make it in here into the bubble column right here so we can pick them up through the trap door and then craft up and then we'll have some storage there so that's how that works i hope you guys enjoyed it and like i said there'll be a link in the description with a download for this world that has all this stuff in it for you to peruse yourself and uh, yeah let's move on to the next section All right, guys, so what we have here is a very small and simple fireworks display set up here. And uh, basically, it's running off a modified Etho Hopper clock. And actually, if you wanted to, you could, could also run that like normal. Let's see. Don't want to waste time here, but... Yeah, you could also run the hopper clock like this. It doesn't need to be modified like I had it. Um, the important thing is, is we want to take a signal off of these comparator, off of these hoppers here, and not the redstone block in this case. And the reason for that is, is because we want two speeds on this clock. Now, what happens here is, is we have let's let's take this this section of stuff out of the picture here, is we have a clock here that runs in this setup right here so basically it when you get enough strength here when it gets to two it'll pick up the signal there and it'll just pulse like this and then our other clock runs this like this all going into our output here which this is a randomizer we either have a sword or we have a uh, torch that in there and once we depower that as you can see clock speeds up over time and then it'll slow down again and basically it'll just give you a, a very random because it's either going to shoot two or four dispensers at once and it's either going to be a slow clock or a fast clock and so it's very very random but it's very effective as well and again these are comparator clocks and they're basically working off the signal strength of these hoppers and to turn them off you just turn that there and this is a 50 50 randomizer here so we're either going to get a sword or we're going to get a red stump red red glass and so no matter what, this one's always going to activate this sign because even if the glass comes in, we get a signal strength of one, which will activate this. And it also goes into this repeater, which activates that dispenser. And if it's this, the sword, then we get all four of them uh, by signal strength coming out here as well. Fairly simple concept. It may be confusing if you're not sure what's going on, but like I said, the download will be in the description and you can just rebuild this spec for spec 
and uh, I would suggest if you build this underground and have the dispenser shooting out that you do a higher flight duration for your rockets than one and this one's a little more complicated and I'm not sure it's actually gonna look any better but I think the operation of it's really really cool we're actually randomizing every one of these so we'll either activate all eight of these or we won't or we'll activate all eight of these or we won't or we'll activate all eight of these or we won't so it could be all 16 or it could be eight or it could be 12 or it could be you know 16 basically or nothing actually because we have uh, zero one two and three basically here which determines whether we actually activate here or don't and these actually don't activate all of these. It's either going to be one, two, three, or four, basically, when it activates. So maybe that's confusing. Maybe it's not. So one shulker box will activate here. One will activate here and here. One will activate those three. And one will activate all four, basically. So let's turn this on and see what it looks like in action. I've seen it at the beginning of the video, I think. Oh, yeah. Look how beautiful that is. All those different colors. Oh yeah. So what's happening here is we're basically just placing and breaking shulker box to get random signal strength. These have different item links in them. And we're doing the same thing here. As you see that one was the only one that activated. Nothing activated, just the one again. One again. Nothing. Two. Nothing. One. Yeah, so it's super random, and you can customize that to your needs uh, and your wants as you like. So, anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, check out the just the download, check out the stuff, and if you want to build it in your world and you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, anyways, guys, it's been Ike bringing you ideas and tutorials to help you survive and thrive in Minecraft, and until next time, guys, happy Minecraft, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.